Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today time for Jangels on our way to Truro City in the National League South. So really looking forward to this game today. Um, it's the longest away game in the whole of the league. Um, and um, you know, I really enjoyed the Southwest away games as I keep on saying. And um, I have to say the train journey today is one of the like, nicest train journeys I've had in terms of scenery. It was just beautiful really, uh, beyond Plymouth and down to Truro. So with the game itself then, so Truro are fourth in the playoff places and we're ninth. Um, obviously, both teams, I don't think anyone would have expected to be this high up at this stage of the season. Both, I know mo so many people had us both to go down at the start of the season. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, we're just prove, we're both proving a lot of people wrong so far. Um, I will also point out um, that we also played each um, played Truro away the exact same Saturday last season, and we all called that a relegation six pointer, and we were both comfortably in the table in the end. So that's why I'm saying it's still very early days and stuff. Um, I think another two or three weeks until you can properly properly make uh, some some judgments on the league table. My prediction is going to be two one to Truro. I think they are just a little bit better than us there on such. A brilliant form but obviously we've got our we had a big win on Tuesday so yeah I'll see you inside the Truro Sports Hub <laughs> Oh, not so 
that to Colton. You when you sweat, it, you yeah, it, yeah. Or, when yeah. you sweat, when you sing it. Tunbridge Angels nil and um, yeah it's been a very non-eventful game not an awful lot's happened um, a very unlucky uh, very unlucky penalty but it was one but yeah I mean it's just one of those one of those slipper and actually um, better the player but yeah um, it's a bit hard to talk about football at the minute after an incident that happened behind the goal but I mean at the end of the day like what basically happened with three Truro fans trying to attack a few of us just because we had a drum like um, um, you know, at the end of the day, like, yes, you know, they've got every right to be, you know, be anti drunk Some people are, that, that's their opinion, but you shouldn't go around attacking people like that. Um, and the stewards and, and the majority of Truro fans were very apologetic to us and said, oh, we're so sorry, no, that's not Truro City, football club at all. Like, but, yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah, I'm just quite shocked with what happens really off the pitch. But hopefully, in terms of football, we can get something out of this game. Come on, you angels. Come on, come on. Go on. Go on. Oh. 
There's only one person who told us, and it wasn't even a steward. Why? Go on. Yeah. Oh. Long throws. Why do teams always have a long throw in there? Well, we do as well. Sometimes you. Wait, wait. Well First card of the game. Northern. No, no. Offside. Hey. <laughs> He's booked for 12, I think. Get up. Go on. Go on. Go on, Trevor. No. I don't want to, but I'm Oh, no. <laughs> Time at the Truro Sports Hub, it finished Truro City 2, Tumble Jones was 1, and um, yeah, that's a really tough one to take, losing in the last minute. Um, but I felt Truro were probably better than us on the day. Um, the goal was coming, they had plenty of chances, they're very dangerous from long throws. Um, but I would say we had quite a lot of chances even before Truro scored the, the, the winner, like we had a few decent chances in stoppage time, and Sean Shields had a golden chance right at the death where the keeper made a really good save but yeah just really really disappointing to come all this way for no points and lose like that when it, the goal came from on the break pretty much and yeah I just it's just yeah a hard one but I mean that's the end of October now for, for us and um, only three points in the uh, four games obviously we had an extremely tough month and I genuinely thought I was going to be going to get zero so three points isn't exactly that bad but at the same time it's not great form but obviously we've got our big FA Cup game next week and um, yeah um, and also fair play to everyone that travelled today uh, made quite a decent amount of noise considering there was only what 40 of us or so I don't know the exact number but yeah for the ones that came fair play and I will say, you know, as much as I ranted about the few people messing about, Truro overall as a club is a brilliant, like, really nice club. Very welcoming. They appreciated how far we've travelled and, and everything. So I wish them all the best for the season, apart from the few idiots who tried to steal our drum and try and fight us just because we had a drum. But anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.